Ooh, I'm out of breath. That was a lot steeper than it seemed like. <laughs> Got the welder in here. It's definitely time for a new cart. That thing is camber gang. Tires falling off. So, yeah. I got this customer that is converting his enclosed trailer. I don't know the size exactly, but uh, converting this for a little hauler slash living camper space, not living, but camper space. You're gonna do some windows, one over there too. Um, so he cut out all this square tubing. So he just wants bracing, slash uh some support or mounting areas for some stuff he has these plates for a couch i don't know they're pretty overkill i would say but you know overkill the better more overkill the better so basically just gotta run a little weld there and be good enough so good old everlast you know the deal so basically the tubes are going to 20, not 18. And then these plates, at first it was like 16 and then we cha he changed it to 14. So I'm just gonna put you guys on a time-lapse and go at it. All right, so my phone died in the middle of that, but I got all the square tubes on this side, on the bottom done. I have to do the plates. I'm in the process of doing these. Got those up. I was just doing this. Um, just kind of want to show you guys a trick. So always, if you're going to use a level, always level what needs to be the you know like the so you see the bubble the trailer isn't level so you take that and you just match it up so this is level or this is where we want the same thing to be sitting if you just take it up put it there so now it seems like it'd be on level but we take a tape measure Uh, 47 and a half and you come over here 47 and a half so it's a little trick it's pretty simple but it's what I do sometimes if I'm like ah it doesn't look right so yep back at it I just wire brushed the area quick I know I uh, marked it all out, but I just do that so the tubes are close. I was just kind of to show you that. I know it's all pretty much marked out, but he marked it out, so I didn't know if it was right or not, so I always double check. But I just stick the tube up, mark the one side, get it to a spot, to its spot, tack it, get the other side. The same thing, and then, uh, yeah, just keep on moving down the line. I'm gonna get that window thing in and then just do this line, do the window thing and then do the plates because I have to cut one. So I guess I'll do the worst for last. <laughs> All right, well, my phone's just been charging so I just kind of went after it. All that's done like you saw. Those are tied in. This front one's tied in. I'm in the process of cutting that plate uh, this whole side is welded. And then 
these window ones. All done. So I'm gonna use this. Well, I already did. Cut off that little piece. Cuts pretty nice with a wood blade. <laughs> no, no lube or nothing. So there's that that you saw. Pretty decent, not the straightest, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a bracket that no one will ever see. So get that in there, get all of those tied in there and this thing will be done, we can get paid. Well, we're all finished. Like I said, it's just some supports and mounts. So you can make this into a little toy hauler slash camper. So if you put in like a little couch where those are or something, that would be the mounting area. Windows, of course, like we already said. And then I'm not quite sure, maybe this is just for rigidity, but it's what he wanted done, so. Got her done, didn't take too long. Came out great and for a good price. So, cannot complain. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, drop a comment below, hit subscribe and like for more. Later.